Rings of power crafted and given to the fair elves, the stout dwarves, and the ambitious lords of men. But these gifts were an elaborate trap, crafted by Sauron the Deceiver, for he had crafted a final ring of power to bind them all to his will. As the age turned, Sauron marshals his forces for war to tear down the free peoples of Middle-earth. Chief among his servants were the Ashen Fists, dwarves who lived in the twisted and blasted mountains of Mordor, the mighty home of the Eighth House of Dwarves. Soon the free peoples will fear the March of the Ashen Fists. Alright, so welcome back to Dapper Dog Plays. We are here in Theater Kings 3. We are playing the Lord of the Ashen Fists. We are in the Lord of the Rings mod, Realm in Exile. And we're using a mod called Dwarves of the Dark Tower or something. I'll, 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 it'll be posted in the uh, description. I probably butchered that name. But basically we're playing dwarves that serve Sauron. They are the Ashen Fists, the center from the Iron Fists. We live in the Ash Mountains. And we are here to serve Sauron and do his will. And bring our mighty hammers to bind the free peoples of Middle-earth. And hopefully... We'll shatter Gondor and take down Aragorn or the whatever king they have, Denethor, whoever's in charge, they're going down. That's all I have to say. So, uh, this is a really cool mod. Obviously, if you've, it's a full conversion mod, the Lord of the Rings in Exile. This is the beta version, so it has the dwarves actually in it already, which is why it has these evil dwarves in it. The live version is not yet updated and does not have the dwarves in it, so if you're wondering why... Like, if you have Lord of the Rings in Exile, there are two versions of it on the, uh, on Steam. And the version I have is the open beta, which allows you to play as the dwarves. And all the other dwarves, some of the Misty Mountains and everything else. And even try to fight the, uh, the Balrog if you really want to. But we're not going to be doing that in this. Right now, we're going to be evil. As you can see, we tried to do some sorcery and it has failed us. But that's fine. Because we can still declare war and bring some of these lesser minions of Sauron under our control. And we're going to do just that. It's a pretty interesting start. You start off as a king. He's a pretty beefy character. Gorn the second. And uh, you basically have a pretty stout army that can take on forces e easily two sides your size. You can wear a gold star army. We, have a, we start with a good amount of money. We have a decision that comes up early on that, that we have to settle our people. And yeah, we're not going to settle. We're going to stay right where we're at. You can either leave these mountains and go elsewhere or set up a satellite, or you can just stay. If you stay, you get um, prestige and gold. If you leave, I think you just get gold. So we decided to stay. We can go ahead and build up our forces here. So we're going to start conquering some of our neighbors. Sadly, though, since we are... Yeah. And we're gonna, you know, murder a few orcs along the way. Some, I mean, there's a lot of orcs, so murdering one isn't gonna really hurt anyone. And of course, we get invaded by this massive, massive army. This guy, he wants the encampment that we just took. And so, when I find if you're gonna be, if you're outnumbered, you have to go on the offensive. You need to try to blitzkrieg if you can, take the guy out before you get any reinforcements and go straight for their capital, which is what, exactly what we did. We were able to, before you even marshal any of his reinforcements, we won. We destroyed his army, Blitzkrieg straight through. This helps a lot if you actually have a really good general, which our character is an extremely good general. So we are able to go blow right through him. And of course, you know, the Mouth of Sauron wants to be our friend. So of course we're gonna be his friend. We're gonna, we're gonna be there. And there's Sauron, our Dark Lord, the Deceiver. Let me uh, modify my uh, my contract there, my Dark Lord. Just don't want you to do anything. Keep our religious rights, which I probably didn't need to do. I probably could have just uh, did title replication, but that's fine. I just didn't want him to come and mess with us. Oh, thank you, Sauron. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. And so we're still dealing with this guy. He's got, you know... He's, he's our neighbor, but we're going to keep fighting him. We're going to keep fighting him and building up our little area. And so, dwarves can live inside the mountains. They have special holds, which is actually kind of cool. You can explore more areas and settle them just like... That's one thing I really wish was brought into the main game, where you could settle. Which every area in the game, there's already a tribe there. 
which is probably not the case even in the past. So it would be nice to be able to have areas that were just wild and you can go settle them yourself. Um, that does not exist in the main game, but there are a lot of different areas you can settle in Lord of the Rings. And so, as dwarves, you can settle underground, obviously. You can build up mines, and one of the expedition types that they have, I mean, the mission types they have, is that they can mine. So we're going to go mining with our, with our family here. Go find some riches. Maybe. Or not. There, I mean, basically you can go and get some additional wealth, items. There's also a crafting system. I didn't really explore that when I was doing these, playing with this uh, dwarf. I was more focused on conquest and just trying to stay alive. Um, oh yes, oh yes. There is a setting, oh just before we case anyone was like, what? There's a setting that your dwarves can be unisex, have unisex beards. I turn that off. I don't like female dwarves' beards. It, it kind of unnerves me. But it, I mean, obviously, I know. I'm not be like, what? A real dwarf has a beard? Okay, fine. You can, you can definitely turn that on, and everyone has beards. I'm pretty sure that the base, like the 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 fault is that the default is that they have beards. I turned that off. It's a setting. I'm glad. I'm thankful for it, but. If you don't like that, you can definitely turn that back on. So you just this mining situation takes a can be pretty interesting. It takes a while. There's our beautiful well this is our Lord's uh, council. Look at all those wonderful gentlemen. We have our champion there. Our our or champion. And yes, she can recruit orcs and stuff. I mean we're in Mordor, so who else are we gonna recruit humans? <laughs> yeah, right. That's not gonna, I mean, that kinda happens, but not really. Now, we start off as a kingdom, or a kingdom under the earth. Um, you build out your hold. And basically, you just gotta focus, you can focus on wealth, getting things up. I found that the dwarves do not have a lot of kids. I had, I did not, like, I mean, as a dwarf, you, you even when, like, your age of majority is until, like, you're in your 60s. Like, obviously, you go through it when you're 16, you finish your education. But you can't really get married until you're, like, 60-plus. Yeah, but they live to about 200 or so, so there you go. As you see, our boy is beefed out. He's all hooked up. Super Dwarf. Super Dwarf, man. I think he's, like, a giant as well. Look at that handsome orc over there that we're going to have to go fight. Beat him up, take his land. We can't go raiding, but it's kind of hard because everywhere around us is either controlled by Mordor or it's just too far away. We should start taking attrition penalties. So it's just kind of like whatever. So I don't go raiding a lot. Not until I get a satellite area. But this is a very cool mod. I really always enjoy Lord of the Rings. Um, and I really like this. Obviously, this is not canon. I don't. Um, I, the prior are some evil dwarves in the Lord of the Rings setting, but this is made by a particular user. They tried to extrapolate on the uh, lore that was there that related to the Iron Fist, as much as I know. Oh, yeah, he dead. Goodbye. Must have been something he ate. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, this character is super evil. And one of the nice things, we did sorcery earlier, and we failed at it, but the sorcery can be pretty cool. You can summon undead armies. Um, the, like, the cool monstrous, uh, mounts and stuff like that. Lots of interesting stuff. Yeah, our army is super duper. So we destroy things like two or three times our size. Dwarves are tough. But it's also really small. Oh no, someone's trying to kill someone in my camera. But like I said, they don't, at least this character did not have good luck with children. I, I don't think I get it. Like, I'm probably, like, easily 50, 60 years into the game before we have an actual kid. And another one goes down. That's yeah, going on super. We'll take that. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. Yes. Now we control that. Oh, thank you, Sauron. Good time to see you, too. Oh, the court looks so good. As you can see, this court is so awesome looking. Some crazy person. Let's go and take him out. 
I could throw silver at him, but I'm not. Let's just go ahead and uh, just beat him up. Just take him down. Why wait? The dwarves look pretty cool. Now, these dwarves have additional kind of an effect on them using that, that ashen like skin. Most dwarves don't look like that. That's just these dwarves for the ashen fists. So, in case you're wondering, uh, goodbye. Oh man, my wife rejected me. We tried to seduce her because we had yet, yet to have a kid, but she said no. So to celebrate, we're gonna go beat up on another work. Because really, at this point, if we can't have a kid, we can might as well destroy somebody else's kid. I wouldn't recommend that, but that's what we're doing. So that's how we're dealing with our sadness. Instead of going, you know, getting, you know, help, we're just gonna go and cause other people pain. We probably need a therapist, but it's okay. Our therapy is war. And war is good. Now go destroy his army. Just walk over there, punch it in the face. Just go punch it real hard. Boom. Destroyed. Destroyed. And our work horse went up. Nice. That was easy. Oh, we gained a hook and so Oh yeah, at this point I think I was... I should note that I was made the spy master. So I am now finding all the secrets for Lord Sauron the Deceiver. Which is fine. Oh yeah, let's get we're gonna keep going at war. Let's go take these guys out too. Which is nice. Just march down there. This army is so deceptive. Like the orcs can get big numbers, but their armies are terrible. Like, their troops are really bad. I remember playing it in work. Also, like, horse can just have, like, very, they're very fluid. Like, it's, like, they die all the time. Like, you're not supposed to have, like, a death, a dynasty of, of orcs. They just, they die constantly. You do murder or just constant warfare. So. But I do love the way they look. The models are amazing. These, I said, this game has some of the best models I've seen. This mod, anyway. Just the way they did them. So, yeah. And that, like you saw with the courtroom there, I wish Sauron had a special court. For some reason, he doesn't. He just is just a dude in a normal courtroom. <laughs> I'd love to be all dark and just mystically evil, but it's not. It's just a, just a chill little room. It's all good. But it's fine. We are going to, yes. Yeah, see, we spend the early game getting our stuff up. We're at 99%, so let's go punch him in the face real quick. Get that little additional back. Boom. Oh, oh yes, and I got a, the spear. The spear's an improved. Oh, yeah, I think it's a... We found some elf lance or something. It's an awesome spear. And there we go. War's over. War is done. And we're granted another vassal. Captain Nazgag. And I think that pulled me into a war. Yeah, it did. But then we were winning that war, so I really don't have to do anything. I think I had to walk over there. By the time I got there, it was already over. Maybe. I might have had to like, fight it. But uh, we're already at 52% because the war was already going by the time I got there. And we're just slowly making our way through the deserts of Mordor. Doing our thing now. Most of the stuff with the dwarves is going to be um, obviously they live in the mountain holds, and they have a lot of uh, activities that deal with it. Mining. They also have an activity where they can settle lands, where they go and they can either you can just set up like a satellite, <clears throat> like a satellite uh, court, like a nation. So essentially, what you do is you're you're like a suzerain. Like you you set up someone and they send you stuff, and you're basically like you're their overlord. Or you can set up your own, or just migrate your whole people over there and just leave like, like an adventure, essentially. But it's it's an it's an activity instead of going to war, which I think is really cool. I would I would like to see something like that brought into just the base game because it'd be kind of nice. But again, you would need to have areas that were not settled, which I think is something the game I think could really use, like areas that are just wild and like it would. You would have a cost, like how much it costs to settle that region. But that's neither here nor there. Here we're going to assist um, 
good old Sauron of the warfare. Because despite the fact that Sauron is supposed to be this big bad evil, he is uh, in this mod anyway kind of toothless. He loses a lot. <laughs> he gets pretty much just the floor gets wiped with him. I don't know what it is. I mean, he usually has pretty strong troops, and they're usually pretty good quality. But if I don't assist him in a lot of these wars, he tends to lose. So, and I think that's just the incompetence of the of the AI, most likely. But there you go. Oh no! Oh no! One of my isolate her. Now this is uh, not with the current ones. We don't have any legends. We don't have uh, disease. This was actually recorded probably like weeks ago. This is before the uh, the latest DLC came out. I believe the that they are up to date though, or they're about to be up to date with the with the latest DLC for the uh, the beta version anyway. I think of all the uh, full conversions, I'm pretty sure that the one I know of that's fully up to date is uh, Princess of Darkness, which I do want to try. It's one of those ones I've always wanted to try, and I try, I've played it, and I just can't get into it. Well, I, I and I love Vampire, which is so weird. So, oh, the Return of the King! The return of the king. The king is back. Oh, he's he's taking his throne. All right, let's get in there. Let's help them. Stop them. Yes. Nice. The king is back. Now we can really get down to some real Lord of the Rings. It's time for us to go to take it straight to Gondor. These free peoples of Middle Earth. Huh. More like dead peoples of Middle Earth. Also, I need to replace that council member, whoever that is. So that's unimportant. Right now, we're just going to hang out. I think, are we sieging? Yeah, we're sieging. I think I'm sieging? I don't know. We're doing something. I'm not going to worry about it. They are sieging right now. Siege of East Osgiliath. Yeah, the dwarves have some really cool looking armor too, as you can see in some of those images. Again, orcs are just look amazing in this game. Orcs are easily my favorite group. Oh, he's trying to sneak around the back. Oh, my wife died. Oh, no. Queen, Queen Etri. Oh, you, it's, you were terrible and I hated you. You didn't give me any children. Let me betroth this four-year-old. <laughs> I'll see you in 50 years, kid. See you in 50 years. It's fine. But it's a, it's a wonderful... Yeah, there we go. Right now, we're just trying to take this down. Like I said, without my help, the AI is pretty bad at war. And it's just like, like if I played Star Wars, I'd probably be one already. Because he's such an awesome start. Just rush in. Destroy him. But, but they try. They try. And that's what I'm here for. So I'm just gonna go siege up while they're doing stuff down there. It's a good life. It's a hard life. Oh crap, here they come. Please come at me. Oh yes, there we go. Good old. Oh, I think I'm fighting Aragorn right now. I'm fighting the king. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We almost lost that. That was almost gonna be tragic. Uh, and now we're up in Rohan. And all three peoples will have to suffer. So we're going to go invade Rohan up here. I don't know why we're fighting. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm assisting. I'm not fighting Rohan directly. And I don't know why I ran here. I think I got scared. I was like, oh, now I'm going to get crushed. And I was like, wait a minute. I'm freaking dwarves. We're going to ruin it. So, you know, I'm going to take a lot of freaking penalties and freaking uh, whatever. So we're just going to sit here. And he's going to run right into us. Come on, riders of Rohan. Come at you. They have 7,800. We have, and it's, yeah, Battle of Aragloss. More like Battle of You're Just Gonna Get Wrecked. Oh no, Rudik was maimed. Oh no. 
better for an orc to be maimed. They lost, we lost like 200 troops. They lost like 3,000. That's ridiculous. That's literally ridiculous. Oh, I, I really love the dwarves. They're freaking sweet. So we're going to invade, but we're going to invade, or we are invading Rohan. The Ritamok. I think we're bringing this war to a close here. Oh, here they come. Just come at me. Oh, God. Yeah, we got this. Oh, man. Who would have thought the Sauron was really exalted in his own religion? Oh, my gosh. Oh. A central proposal. Nice. But still no children. Even if it is just a... Oh, yeah. Uh, and here, we're now we're just offering it to help fight these wars. Because, like I said, if I don't come help... It's just, I don't know what the, the AI's doing sometimes. And someone's got to show Aragon, or whoever his, his kingly name is, what's up. Oh no, he's got a hook on me. Oh well, I did murder people, so it's not like it's... <gasps> oh, finally! Oh my gosh, my concubine finally is having a child. Oh my gosh, I think it's only like 40-something years into the game. And now we're just smashing Gondor apart. This is this is beautiful. Look at this, this is beautiful. We're sieging the White City. Victory! Nice. Yeah, we put her. I finally have a kid. Look at that. Look at that baby. baby look at that beard on him. Prince Austria, Hazabad. Look at that beard on him. All right, let's go to war. Why not? Gondor's weak, and we are strong. Time to take some area for myself. I think, yeah. I want to say, oh yeah, here he comes. I don't know where he went. Because uh, I know he has a lot of truce, but for whatever reason, he just doesn't really bring him to bear against me. He's got like those nine. Oh, there they come. Here goes Rohan. Boom. Queen of Rohan leading them. Oh yes! One of our knights is maimed, it's fine. We got this, boom, get out of here. They lost half their forces. Oh my gosh. And look at this, now we're just taking all this region. Siege of Bar Tawar. We're almost there. We're almost there. Nice. Yeah, we'll take that. Give me that land. 3,000 versus 18,000. What is this? I don't understand. I don't understand how we have any victory there. But look at all that good territory. Give to some deserving men and dwarves. Again, we're joining another one of his wars. I think he becomes like our best friend, but Sauron can't be your friend or something. I don't know. Like, he was my best friend like three times. Because you have not become friends with Sauron. But then I would check, and we were not friends. I, I, I don't think he got the memo. So. But we joined a lot of his wars. I don't know. I think this one was like... Which one was this one? I'm not sure. I think we finally... Finally take over the White City. Like, I think. We're on the tail end of the destruction of Gondor. Like, they're just not doing well. At all. At one point, I think Rohan was a was a uh, tribute tributary to Mordor, but I don't think that lasted. Let's just keep going south. Let's go. What are they gonna do? Nothing. Sauron's leading us in a battle. Look at that. Oh my gosh, these wolves. Look at that. Get out of here. We're going to win this. Oh, my boy has come of age. Look at it. Look at him. He's a... He, he's... Oh, he's a master. Look, oh, man. Finbad, you were a good wet nurse. Look at him. 16 years old. Don't know nothing. It's fine. Go be in a... Just don't assassinate me. Ah, yes. <sighs> Goodbye. Goodbye. I think we just smashed him. 
I don't even think there's a Gondor anymore. Oh my gosh. Is this he? I made a friend. Sauron's my friend. I told you. Me and Sauron were friends. Basically, we're fighting with the same stuff over and over and over again. But it's 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 nice. I couldn't do a World Conquest in Lord of the Rings. I think it would just feel weird. Maybe I, maybe I, I don't know. World of the Rings is more just like a flavor, so flavorful, but I don't know if I could do a long, I mean, maybe I could do a long, like, actual, like, run, like, a, over time, but, I mean, you got the humans, and there's a lot of long-lived humans and dwarves and stuff, so, yeah. I don't know, maybe, play, maybe, uh, I really like the elves, but they're also immortal. But that'd be fun. Of the full conversions that I've played at, this is this one's definitely up there. I think my favorite is easily probably Elder Kings. It's just because it has so much going on. Lord of the Rings has a lot going on too, but Elder Kings just has so much going on. I do like the Game of Thrones one, but I always feel like if you're, unless you really like like just playing as a vassal, I think it's just kind of. Although they did add Essa, so I think there's a lot more stuff now. But I feel like if you're not, if you don't want to play a vassal, you just do the vassal game. I can see it getting very boring, especially if you're at the top. Oh, come on in. Here we go. I think this is the war that we finally get rid of Gondor. This is the one. Look at that. Yes. Yes. Man, we are just smashing them to pieces. These dwarves are unstoppable. They're taking out like 12,000 worth of troops. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah, I captured, I captured the king. It's over. It's over. Yeah, you bow to no one. You're bow to me. Sorry. Oh, you bow to no one. No, you bow to me. Yep, we got Minas Tirith, we got everything. His, his kingdom's no more. Goodbye. That just shatters it. The fall of Gondor. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Sauron. Look at me up right next to you. I was there. I was there when it happened. I guess I have a hook on him or something? I forget what thing I had on him. I don't know. What were you doing, Sauron? What were you doing? Uh, the accursed Dunedain of Dane are gone. They are gone, and now Westeros is right for pickings. At this point, there's no one that can stop us. We're just steamrolling. It's just this. Now we're just kicking people when they're down. It's not even really a contest. We're just winning regions. I'm just taking stuff over just to like, spread my influence. It's it's ridiculous at this point. At this point, we're just assisting. I mean, you don't, you don't see we don't get big numbers, but our army is always gold. So it's just a ridiculously strong army. Like, it is way strong. It might be overpowered. It, this is probably one of the strongest armies I've ever had the, the pleasure of leading. And I can build some pretty strong armies. I know I had a really strong army in Elder Kings, um, the Zenata run. But this was ridiculous. This was just, I mean, you just could not be stopped. I lost a few times if I got like overwhelmed by like 16,000 troops. But like, you see, we're taking out like nine, 8,000 troops easily. Just to, and we lose like 50, 100. They lost like half their forces. We've lost like 50. Like, look at this. This is ridiculous. This is not me though. This is, I think it's just the, the, oh yeah, I'm not even there yet. The AI is like, oh gosh, are we gonna make it? And we finally get in there. The very last second. Good. Helping out the Witch King Angbar, probably. One of the wing race. We don't know which one. They're all look alike. <gasps> Ooh. Sorry for any, any... I'm sorry for any Nazgul out there if I've insulted you. I wasn't trying to. I mean, I love Nazgul. I love... Some of my best friends are Nazgul, okay? Just just saying, you know? I don't want, I don't want to get cancelled by, you know, the pro-Nazgul mafia. But they exist. So... I, I love not school. I, I I guess I don't know. Oh 
my god, Rohan, you're going down. Goodbye, Rohan. Goodbye. I love Rohan. They're like my second favorites. They're like, I just, I don't know, something about their horse Vikings just stokes my fire, and I do love Vikings. I do love Vikings. Horse Vikings just takes it to a whole nother level. Oh no! I don't even know what this war is for. I just know that we're fighting it. Alright, let's go! We don't want to go to war today! But the lord of my master's been at me! Alright, we're gonna get in here. Like, I, I uh, honestly, this point we were just snowballing. Oh gosh, someone just like spawned right on top of us. And we still win. I think we just fought like 9,000 worth of troops and still destroyed them. Yeah, look at that. Give me that money. By the time we get back, we we're gonna win this siege and win, win most of the war. Our sieging was fast. Pretty fast. I mean, we're dwarves. We know how to build stuff, and we definitely know how to tear it down. Oh, yeah, bring your 6,000. Just get in there. Oh, my gosh. Get out of here. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Clingity clang. Clip clap. You just got stacked. Oh, we captured her. Captured Queen Edeba. Man. Oh, yeah, I've got so much money. It was ridiculous. This is just. It was silly, but at this point, it was like, we were so powerful. We had money, we had limitless money, and we were just winning constantly. It was kind of sad. Middle Earth was going to fall. It was going to fall to us. Hazabad, Hazabad, look at that. Look at all those different areas I had control. Oh my gosh. The Ashen Fists were reigning supreme. Although we hadn't fought any of the dwarves, I should. Next time I ever do that, I might have to take on some more. Maybe that'll be a more fair fight, but I, I doubt it. I don't. I just don't. I don't think the AI is good enough to make good armies. Look at that. Mordor had sw was basically swallowing up. We were. I mean, it's not a world conquest, but I mean, we controlled the majority of Gondor at this point, and the Rittermark is basically irrelevant, so. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this. This was kind of a different thing I wanted to try. That was probably about. gosh. 12 to, well, 8 to 12 hours, probably up to 15 hours of footage, cut down to, you know, 30 minutes or so, just to show, like, this mod and just how much fun it was. It's a little bit different. Uh, I will say that I, I really enjoyed playing the dwarves and get a chance to try out that mod, the, uh, the dark dwarves of the, the dark dwarves, whatever they are, the Sauron dwarves. I say, check it out. It's fun. Otherwise, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, you know, hit that like button, subscribe. If you got all the way to the end, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And, uh, you know, just between you and me, I think you're the best. You. Yeah, you. Right there. You are the best. All right, I'm out. See ya. Bye. <laughs>